Good morning, today I'm going to show you how anyone can build your own WordPress fonts just like these. So I got bought this book at Christmas which is called Why Fonts Matter which is a great read and I recommend buying it actually, it's fantastic. And it talks you through fonts and how they have importance and a psychological importance on web design and also print design. Fantastic book. So it got me thinking, how about I try and create my own personal fonts? There's loads of fonts out there, but I thought it'd be really interesting to dive in. So I went into this rabbit hole and I found this great service that anyone can build your own fonts really easily with no technical ability at all whatsoever. So today that's what I'm going to show you how to do. So by the end of this video, you will have learned five exciting things. Number one, how to create your own fonts no technical knowledge needed whatsoever and actually it's fantastic fun and if you've got any kind of creative instinct you're going to absolutely love this number two how you then take those fonts and add them to any wordpress website using a free plugin number three you're going to learn a brief history of fonts that i put together for you number four also you're going to learn how you can add any other fonts to your websites and also embed google fonts to your sites number five you're going to learn just how bad my handwriting is now there are many ways to create your own fonts. Some can be quite technical and some can be very time consuming. I found you one which is super easy. No technical knowledge needed whatsoever and it'll only take you about 10 minutes. So it's great fun to dip your toes in to have a go at this stuff. It's called Calligrapher. It's free. There is a pro version, but we don't need the pro version because the free version gives us enough. Essentially what happens is they give you some templates. This is a template. I don't know if you can see that clearly. And it has the letters of the alphabet and numbers in it. And it has uppercase and lowercase numbers, letters uh, rather. And then you fill them out, which I've done badly here. And then you upload your template to their site and it magically creates fonts for you. So I already have an account, so I'm just going to log in and let's log in. And here we go. Now, the first thing we need to do is come over here to create a template. Click on that. And we want minimal English. We've got different templates for you here, but I'm English. So I'm going to click minimal English. And you'll see up here we've got download template. That's what you want to click on. And essentially what you're going to do is download and print this out. So I want this as a PDF. I'm just going to download it to my computer and you will see it should download. There we go. So there's my PDF. And what you're going to do now is download that and then print it out. So I'm going to do that now so you can see the full process. I'm going to download it up here and it'll download that as a PDF on my desktop and then I'm just going to go off and print that. Now what you do is you take a pen or a pencil and you fill out the letters and also the punctuation marks. I'll just show an example of an A here. And it has some guidelines as well where it recommends that you draw the beginning and the end of them. Now you can see I'm doing this very roughly but there's nothing to stop you creating some nice sort of artistic type of letters if you want to. So we do uppercase and then down here you'll see we also have options for lowercase. That's terrible. So once you finish filling out the template like I've done here with the uppercase and the lowercase and some punctuation marks as well, you basically take a photo of this and upload it to the Calligrapher website and it automatically turns this into a font that you can then use on your WordPress website, which I'm going to show you the full process in just a second. But before that, when I was doing this myself, it got me thinking about how fonts actually work. How do you get from this to a font that you can actually use on your website? So in the next few minutes, I've got a very, very brief history of how fonts work. In 1450, Johannes Gutenberg, a German goldsmith, revolutionized printing with the invention of the movable type printing press. This innovation allowed for the mass production of books and significantly democratized access to information. Gutenberg's press used a series of individual metal type pieces, each featuring a raised character, which were inked and pressed onto paper to create printed text. Gutenberg's initial typeface, known as black letter or gothic, was dark and densely designed. It became the standard in Europe for centuries, until the Renaissance when humanist scholars sought to revive the classical letter forms of ancient Rome. This led to the creation of the Roman typeface, characterized by its clearer, more streamlined letter shapes. The 18th century saw the advent of transitional and modern typefaces introduced by designers like John Baskerville and Bodoni. Their designs brought sharper contrast between thick and thin strokes, resulting in a more refined and elegant aesthetic. With the advent of the typewriter in the 19th century, font design faced new challenges. Due to the mechanical constraints of the typewriter, the first typewriter fonts were mono-spaced, 
with each character occupying the same horizontal space. This created a uniform rhythm that was both efficient and visually distinctive. Fast forward to the mid 20th century, a new standardized encoding system was needed to cater for the rapidly growing field of digital communication. Introduced in 1963, the American Standard Code for Information Interchange, or ASCII, was developed to standardize the characters used in electronic devices, including computers. ASCII represents 128 characters, including uppercase and lowercase letters, numbers, and basic punctuation marks. For example, in ASCII, the capital letter A is represented by the decimal number 65, the lowercase a by 97, the digit 1 by 49, and so on. However, the cultural and linguistic diversity of the global population soon revealed the limitations of ASCII, hence the Unicode standard was thus developed in the late 20th century. The tech revolution of the 1980s and 1990s brought another leap forward in font history. Apple designed TrueType, a scalable font format that enabled precise rendering of fonts at any size or resolution. This revolution opened the door to an explosion of digital font design, with thousands of new typefaces being created and shared globally. And in recent years, the internet has transformed how we access and use fonts. Google's Fonts launched in 2010 and provides designers and developers with access to a vast library of high quality open source fonts. Well, that was interesting. Right, what you do next is you take your phone and you take a photo of your template. And it has these little guide marks in the top corners that you want to try and get into the corners of the photograph that you're taking. And you're going to upload this photograph to the Calligrapher website. Let's take that. So the next stage is pretty simple. You're just going to upload that photo directly to the Calligrapher website. You come to my fonts up here and then you'll see this link that says upload template. Click on that. And then in the middle here, click on choose file. Now you're just going to find the photo that you've just taken. There's the one I've just taken. And then you're just going to click on this option here, upload template. And here's the result. Now clearly you're going to have better handwriting than mine because mine's terrible. It's absolutely awful. But if you're happy, then you just come down here and you click on add characters to your font and it's going to wear away. And here we go. Here's a preview of my font. Now you can, if you want to at this point, jump into individual letters and edit them. So I'm not particularly happy with my J. It's pretty terrible. I can click on it and I can actually come in here and edit the character and you can actually come in here and draw. You see how I'm redrawing my A. So it's still going to be terrible because I'm not taking much time over this. But you can, if you so wish, you can edit them further there. Uh, I'm going to go back. Now you can also edit the font details up here. And this is where you give your font a different name. So I'm going to call it Jamie's font. This is very imaginative. And then just click save. But once you're happy with all your letters, then it's time to build the font. Just come up here and click on build font. And you can change the name at this point as well, but I'm just going to click build. That'll actually generate the font, which we're going to download and then upload to our WordPress website. Now at this point, we do actually get a helpful preview. So we can see a preview of all our characters here. You can actually see them, what they look like in sentences as well, which is pretty useful. It's not too bad. It's not too good. Uh, and you can also see a size comparison. So you can preview them here and go back and edit them. But up here, you'll see we can actually download them, either a TTF file or an OTF file. So I'm going to go TTF. Just click on that and that will download that font file directly to your computer. So now all we need to do is upload that font to our WordPress website. And here we have a freshly pressed WordPress website. And we're actually going to use this free plugin here called Create Block Theme to do it. Now we're not going to use this plugin to create a block theme. One of the great features about this plugin is it has a font manager. So you just hover over appearance on the left, come down here to manage theme fonts and click on that. And you'll see over in the top right, we have two options add Google font or add local font. We're going to add a local font because we're uploading it from our computer. Click onto that and then you just click over here, choose file. Then you just find the file that you've just basically created. There's my font, Jamie's font, regular TTF, upload that. And it will give you a little preview here, uh, but we need to click on this, just upload font to your theme. So now all I need to do is select that font. So I'm using a block theme, so I come to the site editor. I will show you how to do this in a classic theme as well. And I'm going to click on styles in the top right here. And then I'm going to come down. I'm actually going to use the style book to look at this. So this is what it looks like at the moment. Let's change the typography here. Now we come into text and click on typography here. And you should see there's my brand new font. Click on that and you'll see my fonts are changing. That's so exciting. So you can see a preview of Jamie's font here. I've got a few issues that I might want to fix up. But as a really quick first go, 
It's so exciting. If you are using a classic theme like Astra or Cadence or Generate Press, you can do exactly the same thing, again, using a plugin, a free plugin called Custom Fonts, which is actually built by the team behind Astra. You can see it here, completely free. So you add the plugin, then you go to Appearance here and come to Custom Fonts. This is where you do exactly the same thing. You put in your name here, and then you just come down to the type of font you want to add. So mine is a .ttf, so I'm just gonna click on upload here. I've actually already uploaded it. I'm just going to select it there and then come down here and just click the add new font button. That font now is available for you to use within your theme. So all we need to do now is select that font in the theme customizer. This will vary depending on your theme. With Astra we just come into typography here and click on body font and then we click on the font family here and I can search for it and it should find hopefully my new font. There's Jamie's new font and you can see as soon as I do I've got this lovely handwritten font now appearing on my website. So it's loads of fun. I hope you found that one interesting. I encourage you to have a go yourselves. It's kind of miraculous when you can create your own fonts and use them on your own websites. And it certainly adds some personality to your site. So I hope you found this interesting, enjoyable and useful. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below now, it would be amazing because it really does help spread the word of the video. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. <laughs>